Coach, it felt like in the first half you guys were kind of playing to Wisconsin style. Second half when that comeback came, you guys were playing more up-tempo like you do. What was going on at that time? We, we were trying to push it in both halves. We, you know, we didn't make any adjustments. We just didn't make any shots in the first half. Well, the first half of the first half, anyway. We were pushing it. Plus, you need more stops. Connor and Patrick, I mean, especially off of Connor's line, 10 rebounds, 17 points, 5 assists. Can you just talk about what he meant to his team on the open before that? Well, he's so critical now, you know, with, with, with a short bench. You know, he's got to play the whole game. He's got to play bigger guys, you know. I brought him in as a point guard. He plays 1, 2, 3, 4. Played some point tonight. Uh, you know, he's so critical. The other night against pressure, you know, in the backcourt. But uh, you know, there's just nobody tougher and smarter than him. And he just has to be on the floor. So uh, really proud of him. And uh, he's a little sore right now, but we'll get him healthy for the next one. This was the second game in a row where Patrick came out in the second half, had a really good stretch offensively. You know, what have you seen from him as far as his aggression in the second half and just his improvement on offense the last few games? Well, I, I think the important thing in what you said is, you know, maybe in the past if he shot it not as well in the first half, he'd be a little more tentative and conservative. And I don't want him to be conservative. I want him to be aggressive, like you said. So. The fact that he missed a couple threes and he came out firing in the second half, was aggressive driving the ball, shooting his pull up, uh, moving without the ball, you know, sprinting in transition. That's what he has to do. When he does that, that's what he's at his best and that's what really helps our team. What can you say about the comeback? Well, you hope your guys understand how to manage the clock and how to keep fighting. Uh, we got a huge steal and a great feed to a guy who's hot. Uh, scored five points quick there. Got the end one before that. So uh, just understanding how to manage the clock and how to how to stay alive. And what was a two or three possession game? It's not over. So uh, I think we learned from that. Uh, they hit those a couple threes coming down the stretch in overtime. But even then, you know, we we had the, the last shot to tie it. You know, so the guys kept fighting. You know, Tony drove it. Tough situation. You know, he thought he got fouled. Um, and then I wanted the foul in that last play, but they went in and laid it up. So it's still only a one possession game. We got it down the floor, got a pretty good shot. Passante did a good job there finding Patrick. This game as a whole, how do you <laughs> feel about it? Well, it's typical. Of, of what Big Ten basketball games are like. And it's typical w with games like with the Wisconsin. Uh, what's up, Aaron's situation? Uh, said he couldn't go. You mentioned that uh, he obviously came out with a lot of intensity, had some really good runs, came three consecutive baskets at one point. I'm just wondering what's your assessment of his performance overall? Well, the, the thing about him is, I mean, you're going to get fight. I mean, that, that's what you love about him. He's upset right now because he felt like he made some mistakes and, you know, he felt like, you know, he should have been shooting free throws on that last one. Uh, <clears throat> physical game. Uh, he's going to keep coming. Uh, defensively, I thought he, he was really working hard. Um, you know, whether he was on Hepburn or anybody, I mean, it, he's a handful. So uh, I thought Tony... Tony was impressive tonight. How did you think, how did you think Desante handled the start? I, I thought he was solid. I mean, he made a couple mistakes. Uh, I think he, he tried to get us into our stuff. He tried to guard their offense, which is not easy. Uh, with all the back picks and all the cuts, and straight cuts and shuffle cuts. Uh, you know, I, I want him to be aggressive offensively. Because he's a guy who can score. He pulled up from three. And, like, if one of those goes in, maybe he's even a little more aggressive. But uh, he's going to be terrific. Friend, we know how good Peyton Sanford is. He just hasn't shot well. Patrick talked about just continuing to instill confidence in him. Is that really all you can do at this point, or how are you? Yeah, we, we're going to keep playing him. We're going to keep going to him. And I told him, I said, look, I love you. You're, you're, you're a terrific player. 
You affect the game in so many different ways. You're putting way too much pressure on yourself to make jump shots. Uh, you know, just go out there and make plays. Be a really good basketball player. That's what you are. And the shots will come. You know, I think one bust out game would be fine. You're 10 games in. It's been an intense stretch. You've got two and a half weeks now until the Big Ten resumes for you. And I realize the season doesn't come to a halt, but but where are you right now and, and sort of uh, where do you want to get to when December 29th rolls around? Well, all I'm worried about is Southeast Missouri. That's all I'm worried about. I'm not thinking about whatever happens past that. So we'll, we'll break this game down and we'll learn from it. We'll get ready for the next one, get our guys ready for that, see who's healthy, and, uh, and then we'll go from there. And then we've got Eastern Illinois after that. Break and then we'll resume. Okay, thanks, folks. Thanks,